Hello, I'm Adam Wolfgang, Director of Product Management for NWEA. Thanks for joining me today. I'm excited to share some of the new enhancements and features coming to Map Growth for Back to School 2024. Map Growth measures performance and growth in K-12 math, reading, language usage, and science. Precise, reliable data helps educators make informed decisions on next steps and student support. Based on partner feedback and rigorous research, Map Growth continues to improve, providing a meaningful assessment experience for students and educators around the globe. In this video, we'll be looking at many new and exciting enhancements to our reporting suite, including the release of our new district profile report and an upgrade to our class profile report. I'll also provide a quick update to our legacy report retirement plan, review an expansion of our enhanced item selection algorithm, and discuss improvements to our professional learning services. We'll start by announcing the release of our new district profile report. Our partners have asked us to improve and simplify our reporting and the district profile is the newest example of our focus on reports improvement. The district profile report joins the previously launched school class and student profile reports and completes the first phase in our continuing journey to improve map growth reporting and insights. Now you have a map growth report for analyzing assessment data at each level in your school system allowing for greater insights and even more impactful decisions. Let's take a quick look at this new report. The District Profile Report allows you to track both achievement and growth across your entire district in one interactive and filterable report. You can see how your district performed on the latest map growth test, or take a look at how your students grew between two test events. By selecting any individual grade, in this case first grade, you can quickly determine if it needs more attention and see data about that particular grade across all the schools in your district. With just one click, you can now see which schools are achieving the highest within a certain grade and which schools may benefit from additional attention and support. With the new district profile report, you have yet another powerful tool to help you make important decisions in your district. Let's move from the district level to the class level and take a look at the improvements to the popular class profile report. This report is available to educators at all levels, but is specifically designed to help teachers. Since its release, this interactive report has helped teachers analyze their entire class's achievement data, as well as identify specific subjects or content areas where the entire class may benefit from additional instruction. The newly upgraded Class Profile Report will contain two new data visualizations that make it even easier for teachers to identify these types of content areas. The layout of these new data visualizations was inspired by two of the most popular legacy map growth reports, the Class Report and the Class Breakdown Report. We've repurposed the best parts of those legacy reports to provide teachers with exactly what they've asked for reliable, quickly digestible information in a single class level report. With all of the improvements to the class profile report, teachers can now better understand the academic diversity of their classrooms, determine if there are any content areas that additional class time should be allocated towards, identify which students need to retest, understand which students might have been rapid guessing on their test, and find helpful data that acts as a starting point for developing flexible learning groups. It's a very worthwhile update. Reports aren't the only area where map growth is improving. We're always working on ways to make map growth data even more useful for our partners in making everyday decisions that impact student learning and growth. Over the years, we've heard that our partners want to better understand how MAP Growth RIT scores relate to end-of-year grade-level expectations. Partners focus on helping students finish the school year with as much growth as possible and want a way to know if students are on track to end the year on, below, or above grade level. 
So this summer, we will publish a new research study that offers valuable guidance on how to interpret the grade level context of a student's MAP growth score. You can now look at MAP growth data for your school, compare it to the findings in this new research study, and gain insight into whether your students are projected to be below, approaching, on, or above grade level at the end of the school year. The publication of this research study, based on millions of test events across student populations spanning the entire United States, and information that combines how students are determined to be proficient across 40 different states, marks the first time that NWEA has provided a view of student grade level proximity across the U.S. The new MAP Growth Grade Level Context will help educators understand how to choose appropriate content, how to enable decisions about which students to focus interventions on, and how to set better school year goals. It's the next step in making sure every student is provided with the support they need to maximize academic growth and improve student outcomes. You'll be able to find this research study in the Resource Center on NWEA.org alongside many other resources and research papers created by our dedicated NWEA Learning Sciences team. We've talked about improvements to reports and innovative new research. Now let's talk about actions we're taking to improve the MAP growth test itself. In the spring of 2023, we introduced a new type of test in 18 states that features an enhanced item selection algorithm. This coming summer, we're excited to extend this innovation to 16 more states, which means that over 60% of all students taking MAP growth in the 2024-2025 school year will use this exciting new test. The new algorithm provides two unique benefits that help make map growth even better at assessing students. First, the new item selection algorithm is designed to have a preference for on-grade material. This means that students taking these new tests will be better measured against the core instruction they receive, increasing map growth's market-leading test validity. Second, it also allows NWEA test creators to adjust the number of questions students see within each instructional area, asking students more questions based on your state's priority grade level standards. The introduction and continued rollout of tests using the enhanced item selection algorithm is just one of many steps we are taking to enhance the accuracy and reliability of map growth. And there's much more to come. We have some great changes and enhancements coming to NWEA Professional Learning, the service we provide to help your educators get the most value out of using MAP Growth. Educators will now see a link to Professional Learning Online has been added to the NWEA Start Page menu, providing them with direct access to professional learning resources and courses from inside the NWEA platform. We're also launching new Foundations online trainings that will be available for the 2024-2025 school year. This engaging new program incorporates and expands on lessons learned from your feedback, exemplar implementations, the latest instructional research, and best practices. These trainings will prepare your team for success. Foundations online trainings provide an enhanced and personalized on-demand professional learning experience designed to introduce educators to the value of MAP growth, offer guidance to prepare students and staff for testing, and explore key reports on using the data to improve student outcomes. Key features include the introduction of customized learning paths, improved just-in-time instruction, and enhanced ease of use. Customized learning paths differentiate instruction based on specific roles, so teachers, proctors, leaders, and administrators receive individualized training that's most relevant to them. Just-in-time instruction provides self-paced, digestible training segments that allow educators to fit the learning into their busy schedules. New resource implementation and templates supported by best practices and tip videos from experienced MAP educators, provide practical resources that support an educator's journey from preparing for testing 
to utilizing data for instructional decisions. Finally, we're excited to announce Recommended Professional Learning, which is designed to support you at each stage of your map growth journey. Whether you are preparing for your first year of map growth, focused on accelerating your map growth implementation, or committed to taking your map growth implementation to the next level, you'll find a customized professional learning solution to support your success. Before we wrap up, I'd like to take a moment to provide an update on our previously announced Legacy Report Retirement Plan. In the spring of 2023, we announced that we're going to retire 12 of our Legacy Reports in the summer of 2024. We released this news 16 months before the planned retirement date so that our partners would have as much time as possible to transition to our newer interactive profile reports and give NWEA time to move the most valuable data points from the legacy reports. The wonderful news is that we've seen a dramatic increase in usage of the newer profile reports, something that we think is a great sign of how valuable the profile reports are to our educator partners and your willingness to take our report and insights work to the next level. In April 2024, we decided to not retire six of the previously announced legacy reports just yet. The Student Progress Report, ASG Quadrant Report, ASG Summary and Projection Report, District Summary Report, Student Growth Summary Report, and the Projected Proficiency Summary Report will continue to be available for the 2024-2025 school year. These six reports, however, will be retired after the 2024-2025 school year in the summer of 2025. During the 2024-2025 school year, we will work to take the most important pieces of these six reports and incorporate them into the newer profile reports. Our overall goal is to provide you with all the great data and insights you know and love reduce the number of reports you have to look at to find those insights and make map growth data even more useful. Thank you for your time today and for your continued partnership. With these new features, tools, and enhancements, map growth delivers important insights and resources to help educators make decisions with confidence. For additional details on new updates coming to map growth, visit NWEA Connection or chat with your NWEA representative.